they'll be happy to tell you that the study doesn't imply what it is that people are saying that it implies. All right, if something's ambiguous, and we know that if something's put in email and you just have the, a, a word, well, there's a real problem because you don't have the tonality and you don't have the body language, you know, the, the implications of the message. So there's a very important message for us there, but it doesn't mean that you can assume that the word has that little impact on it. It doesn't. It's huge. And I'll get into that in other times when we talk about scripts and whether to use them or not and how to really learn and master your material. You do need to learn and you do need to master your material. Now, it is a big myth, so please stop quoting it. That said, there is a great lesson there and we do all understand. And by no means am I suggesting that your body language and your uh, conviction, which goes into your tonality and your body language, aren't all critical. They are. It's part of the total package that will help craft and convey your message along with the message. <laughs> the stuff you have to work really hard at getting really good at and focusing on, and then you put them all together. Because when you have the beautifully crafted message and theme and objection handling points and way you're going to deliver it, and then you do it with conviction and passion, then the marriage is spectacular.